All right, let's see if this works. So I'm on this page that you sent. Uh, I see this table, I see that it has multiple pages. Uh, let's load the workshop. Okay, so the, load, the workshop loaded. We can see 15 rows and 13 columns. The data looks like this. Uh, this looks pretty good. So right now you can click this button and it'll download to Excel. Uh, I don't actually have Excel in, Excel installed on this computer, but you can open it in a spreadsheet app of your choice. This is Apple's numbers program. Uh, so that works, but let's see if we can get all of the pages in one Excel file. So uh, let's turn on the page tables toggle and click on the next page. And now we have 29 rows across two pages. Let's do the next page. 40 rows. Okay, cool, 54 rows. One thing to note is that this version of Table Capture hasn't been released and it's got slightly improved paging logic, but I will be releasing this very soon. Um, also, interestingly, there is no next button. If there was a next button, we could try using auto paging. Um, but yeah, so you can just click all these buttons one by one. Uh, and then it'll get all of this data into one data set. It's a bit tedious that you have to click it all, but um, it's probably faster than the alternative. Yep, so now we have 138 rows. Um, you can just click this button, open it in Excel. And um, yeah, this looks pretty good. All right, thanks. Let me know if you have any questions.